This is video three out of 20 in our beginner series and introduction to AI. Now in the realm of human history, there have been tools, inventions, and ideas that have transformed our world. Today, we stand on the precipice of another revolution, artificial intelligence or AI. Now, early AI researchers believed that the essence of intelligence could be distilled into mathematical formulas. They envisioned a world where machines could think by following precise logical rules. But what is this mysterious force? How does it think, learn, and evolve? Let's embark on a journey to unravel the enigma of AI. At its core, AI is like a child. It learns from experience, but instead of human experiences, it learns from data. Imagine a vast library. Each book represents an algorithm, a set of instructions. AI uses these algorithms to process information, make decisions, and learn. One of the most powerful algorithms is the neural network. Much like our brain has neurons, these networks have nodes. They connect, they interact, and then they make decisions. At its heart, a neural network uses a simple equation. Output equals weight times input plus bias. Think of it as a balanced scale, adjusting weights to find the right balance. These weights and biases are tweaked over time, allowing the network to learn and to make better decisions. In fact, imagine walking into the grandest Starbucks of the digital realm, where multi-layer neural networks are the baristas, crafting the perfect brew every time. As you place your order, think of it as a raw data input. Now the first barista or neural layer takes your basic order, say a latte. As you order move down to the counter, each barista adds a touch of magic. One adjusts the milk temperature, another adds the right amount of foam, and yet another might sprinkle some cinnamon on your PSL. By the time your cup reaches the end of the counter, it's been transformed into the perfect personalized latte, just the way you like it. And the secret recipe? The meticulous notes of weights and biases that each barista keeps refining them with every cup they craft to ensure that your next visit is even more delightful. But here's the frothy twist. There's a special barista known as the activation function who decides how each ingredient is added. This barista ensures the balance is just right, not too strong or too mild, making sure that your coffee experience is consistently magical. And after you take that first sip, well, the feedback you give it is like the back propagation in the network, helping our barista team tweak their techniques for your next visit. So the next time you think of a multi-layer neural network, imagine the bustling AI Starbucks that we just visited, where every cup is a blend of precision, art, and a dash of digital magic. Now, meet the Convolutional Neural Network, or CNN. It's like an artist specializing in images. It can recognize patterns, shapes, and objects, making it the backbone of image recognition. The core math? It's about applying filters to images. Now imagine placing a magnifying glass over a picture, focusing on a small part at a time. That's convolution. These filters help CNNs detect features from simple edges to complex patterns, allowing it to see and thereby understand images. Now imagine that you're at a gallery staring at a giant intricate painting. Now envision a tiny robot artist with a magnifying glass meticulously examining each section of artwork. This little artist sits at the heart of a convolutional neural network, or CNN. Instead of seeing the entire painting at once, the CNN artist actually focuses on tiny patches, identifying simple patterns like strokes, colors, and textures. It's like recognizing the individual brush strokes that make up a beautiful sunset or a delicate shading in a portrait. As our tiny artist moves deeper into the gallery or the layers of the CNN, it starts to piece together these simple patterns to recognize more complex features, maybe the curve of a smile or the silhouette of a mountain. By the time it reaches the final room, it can appreciate and understand the entire artwork, recognizing intricate scenes and subjects. So the next time that you hear about a CNN, think of our diligent robot artist using its magnifying glass to uncover the magic behind every pixel. Now let's jump to the recurrent neural network or RNN. Picture it as a storyteller. It remembers past events, making it perfect for understanding sequences like music or language. Its magic lies in the loops. An RNN feeds its output back into itself. It's like reading a book and remembering the previous page to understand the current one. This looping structure allows it to remember and process sequences, making it adept to tasks like language translation. Now picture yourself at karaoke night. 
with a song playing that tells a story from the start to the finish. Now imagine a musical robot friend named RNN with an incredible memory humming along. Unlike other robots, RNN just doesn't focus on the current note, it actually remembers the entire melody leading up to it. So each time a new note plays, RNN thinks, oh, this note follows that dramatic chord from earlier. It's like having a continuous echo of the song's history in its circuits, allowing it to anticipate the upcoming chorus or bridge. As the song progresses, RNN adjusts its humming based on the notes it remembers, ensuring it's always in tune with the story's flow. It's this magical memory loop that lets RNN excel at whatever task it is given, like understanding song lyrics or predicting the next word in a sentence. So, the next time you think of a recurrent neural network, envision our musical robot RNN echoing the past and harmonizing with the present, all while eagerly awaiting the next note in the sequence. The Transformer is not just a toy, but an AI marvel. It revolutionized language understanding. It's sort of like a wise sage, understanding context and relationships in data. Now what's its secret? Truly, it is the attention mechanism. Imagine listening to a crowd but focusing only on the most important voices. That's how the Transformer prioritizes information. They weigh the importance of different pieces of data, ensuring that the most relevant bits get the attention that they deserve. And the clip algorithm? Well, think of it as a bridge. It connects words to images, understanding and generating descriptions. It's the poet of the AI world. Clip's genius is its ability to compare. It looks at an image and a description and then it measures how well they match. It's like pairing the right caption on a photo in a gallery. By understanding both the text and the images, Clip can make connections that other algorithms just might miss. Picture this, a magical chest filled with countless images and words. And every time that you pull out a picture, a perfect description magically appears. That's the enchantment of the clip algorithm. But what's the spell behind it? Dive into the world of vectors. Now in the realm of clip, every image is actually transformed into a special kind of magical dust called a vector. Now these vectors, much like the coordinates on a treasure map, have a unique position in the vector space. The closer two vectors are, the more similar the images and the word. Now here's the real sorcery and where it happens. Clip uses a magical scale called the dot product to measure how well an image and a description match. Imagine two vectors dancing towards each other. If they groove and are in harmony, then the dot product is high, signaling a near perfect match. But if their dance is even a little bit out of sync, then the dot product is probably low. By comparing these dance scores for various word image pairs, Clip can then pick the most enchanting match. So the next time you marvel at how Clip conjures the perfect caption by an image, remember this mesmerizing dance of vectors behind the scenes. Now, these concepts might seem complex, but remember, every expert was once a beginner. The world of AI is vast, but it's built on simple principles. Imagine stepping into a vibrant realm where numbers, symbols, and data dance together to create enchanting AI wonders. In this world, linear algebra is a spellbook, with vectors and matrices weaving together to form the backbone of neural networks. These magical grids of numbers transform and shapeshift, guiding AI on its quests. Meanwhile, the thrilling adventures of calculus let AI scale mountains and valleys, seeking the best paths. With guidance of differential calculus and gradients, AI can then fine-tune its strategies, ensuring that it's always on the right track. Now, entering the bustling marketplace of probability and statistics, where AI fortune tellers can predict the future. Here, using tools like Bayes' theorem and statistical distributions, they can gaze into crystal balls or datasets to make informed decisions. But that's not all. In the grand arena, AI champions battle challenges using optimization. With their trusty sidekicks, loss functions, and gradient descent, they refine their skills, striving for perfection in every task. But the adventure doesn't end there. In the vast libraries of the realm, scholars of information theory are still unlocking the secrets with keys like entropy, while explorers chart new territories using graph theory, finding the best roots and connections. And for those who love unraveling mysteries, Differential equations and complexity theory offer puzzles and riddles, helping AI understand the rhythms of change and the intricacies of algorithms. You will learn across the rest of these 20 videos how a subset of these concepts will be put to the test on your journey to learning AI. You, yes you, 
have the power to understand and harness this technology. It's not just for the tech savvy or the mathematicians. AI is for the dreamers, for the thinkers, and the believers. This is video three out of 20 in our beginner series and introduction to AI. By the end of the series, you'll be ready to learn more advanced concepts of AI and machine learning, which will allow you to elevate your career in tech and remain in demand on the job market.